Time to do some more coding and optimize the shit out of this. 19 years at this company, still haven't figured out how to complete level 9. I mean, I have completed it, but not fully. There are these optional challenges I just couldn't wrap my head around. The task here is simple. Send only the zeros to the outbox. So this is the inbox. We need to grab the zeros and put them in the outbox. Now, this is my code. It works. You take shit from the inbox. If it's not a zero, you simply toss it and go again. But if it's a zero, you outbox that value and repeat back to the inbox. If it's a zero, outbox it and repeat. You can speed this up and you can see it works beautifully. But here come the optional challenges. The size challenge is to use five commands or fewer, which I've done, but it's way too slow. I mean, not way too slow. Three steps slower than it should be. When this video came out, I got a few suggestions in the comments. Basically, to sort of write this in reverse is the way I understand it. I kind of hate it and oh, let's see if I can at least do it and then maybe it will click for me as well. I tried brute forcing this as well, didn't work. But anyway, here we do the normal loop, inbox, outbox, repeat. But the trick is to get rid of one of these jumps. So what if we outbox first, then inbox? If it's a zero, we outbox that. But if it's not a zero, we need new inbox. Wait, did I just do it? That's... Nah, that can't... What the fuck? I mean, is this gonna work? Just basically we, we got rid of a single jump, right? That's really weird. Okay, okay, let's try it. So outbox first. Oh, okay, that kind of ruins everything. So we can't outbox with empty hands. I, I really loved this. This was really simple and it should have worked. It didn't. Okay, so we do need to inbox first, always, I guess. Hang on, what if we put a jump here to the inbox? So basically still three jumps, but this one only happens once. So inbox, toss that, outbox, holy shit. Why do I have a jump zero here? Because from the inbox I go, so should I do it? I'm lost, I'm lost, I fucked it, I screwed up. What about this? Is it the same that I did before? So we skip the outbox at first. Inbox, if zero, you outbox. Otherwise you keep inboxing. I mean, it kind of looks exactly the same like what I had before, but it works. This is ridiculous. And it's gonna be faster, a lot faster. Okay, not a lot faster, three steps. Okay, I hate this, but yeah. Now let me compare it to this. Inbox, outbox. If it's a zero from the inbox, you need to outbox it straight away. If it's not, keep inboxing. And then you jump back up here. You say inbox, if it's a zero, go to outbox, otherwise keep inboxing. If it's a zero, go to outbox, otherwise keep inboxing. So that's this loop here. But here, after outbox, we always do a jump. Here, after outbox, we don't do a jump. So that's the trick there. That's, that's kind of weird. So here, basically, we only do this jump once to get to the inbox. In this case, we always, after every outbox, do this jump. All right, it worked. Good. Now, we can either proceed with level 20 or I can try torturing myself a bit more in level 13 because I think that this sort of backwards logic, as I call it, is in every one of these levels. I'm gonna give this five minutes, then cry and skip it. Get two things from the inbox. If they're equal, put one of them in the outbox. Discard the non-equal pairs. All right, I'm gonna copy this code. I've got it last time and it works. How does it work? You take thing from the inbox, copy it on the ground, take another one and subtract those. If it's a zero, that means they are the same. So if this is a zero, you go there, place it on the outbox and repeat. If it's not a zero, you just repeat and inbox again. Now, the logic is inbox first, at first jump over the inbox to the outbox. This jump is, I think I should get rid of this jump. I suppose copy from zero before then. And if it's a zero, you want to outbox that. Otherwise, keep jumping. Yeah, so basically I've done the same as before. Outbox comes first, we skip that on the first iteration, 
inbox, copy inbox, subtract. If it's a zero, go to the outbox. If it's not a zero, repeat this. So, does it work? Speed this up a little. Oh, it seems to be working. Yes, yes, yes. Now put zero there. It worked. Is this faster or like shorter? Let's see. Size challenge. Yep, easy. And let me see the speed challenge. Yes. That's beautiful. I love it. Okay, now this is shit. Because level 14 is not just about the jumps. I also need to make my, my code shorter. Okay, I've got three pieces of code here. I think that the last two are the same. Yeah, okay. So, grab two things from the inbox. Put only the bigger one into the outbox. If they are equal, do whichever. Right, so, again, inbox both. Subtract. And if it's negative, you take this one. If it's positive, you take this one. So grab both, subtract, that's a zero. Take this one and outbox. These ones are equal as well by the five and minus one. So do minus one minus five is negative. So you take the five. Okay, cool, that worked. But we've got one extra command there and it takes too long. So first of all, I'm just gonna try and rewrite this again so outbox first jump over it this goes away and let's say if it's negative you copy from zero if it's positive you copy from one uh, did i get rid of a jump or not i don't think i did three jumps three jumps yeah but this only happens once okay okay let's try this does it work at least yes we've got an eight this should be minus six and then a five, yes, so it works. Is it faster or fewer steps? Still the same amount of commands, of course, and shit. We need one more, but I hope if I'm able to remove a single command, this is gonna solve itself. Now, where is my extra command, for fuck's sake? Take inbox, copy two, take other inbox, copy two. Do we need to copy two? So basically we do five there, eight there, and then we subtract. Eight minus five is three. I need to either now outbox the five or the eight. In this case, I need the eight. If I did have to put it down in order to be able to copy it. Is it negative? Should I? Oh, oh, I touched the code and it reset. Shit. Anyway, the eight was not negative. So I copy from one and then I need to outbox. What if I put this copy from? one to here put this jump there and say if it's negative you need to do this so if it's not negative you do that would that work oh but here you copy from one you need to skip the zero okay too many jumps now at least it works but it's it's way too complicated i, I basically edit a command what an idiot 12 commands right yeah and it's not gonna be any faster, obviously. Yeah, it's it's much worse. I suppose in this case, it doesn't really help with the outbox first, because we always have to outbox something. But in the previous levels, we would sometimes not outbox anything at all, right? So, so the logic doesn't apply here. Would it help? I, in this case, I do copy to zero, go back, copy to one, and then go back to zero, subtract, and go there, what if I did copy to one, then to zero, then go there to subtract and possibly go straight or back and there? It's arguably worse. Just just trying to figure out the, the length of the steps. But I don't think that's the point here. It's about the commands executed, not the path traveled. I really just want to do some kind of rewriting of the variables. For example, here we say if it's negative, copy from zero. If it's not negative, copy from one. So what I'm tempted to do is say copy from one. If it's negative, copy from zero. Otherwise, you know, jump over or something. But if I copy from here, then it kind of overrides the result of the subtraction. No too big of an idiot to figure that out. So let's try multiplication workshop. I won't be able to complete this anyway. Like, not at all. Yes, only yesterday we were learning about adding font memories. So what now? Hello. Yeah, hello. Okay. Oh, I removed the O. Sorry. There you go. And zero. I can add comments to these. I've got labels. Okay, so hang on. 
for each two things in the inbox, multiply them and outbox the result. Don't worry about negative numbers. And I've got labels. Okay, so I can just tap this and write whatever. And it's there. Look. All right. So let's inbox. Copy that to there. Inbox again. And now what? So we've got two numbers. I just remove that shit. Two numbers. There. We need to multiply them together. So I'd say keep adding one of them to the other as many times as the other is, I guess. I suppose I'm gonna need a counter as well. So yeah, let's say the first number is gonna be here in the zero cell. And I'm gonna call that the counter. Then it's also gonna be here. And the other number is gonna be in the second cell. Okay, so we've got counter, first number, second number. Then I'd say you're holding the second number, so add the first number to it, then bump down the counter and repeat. So I actually didn't need to copy it into the second number slot. So basically take one number, keep adding the first number to it this many times. And I forgot what the bump counter does, so put these there. Second goes, uh, yeah, edit. Bump it, oh, you take it into your hand, you idiot. Okay, so you add them together and then you need to copy it to the second number, which is the result there. So you copy the result into the result, bump down the counter and repeat. But before that, you need to copy from the result there. What if you bump down the counter and it's a zero? So if this is a zero, you need to jump out. You need to take the result again, kind of, and then you need to outbox it and repeat. Does this work? At least for eight and two. Counter eight, first number is eight, two plus eight goes into the result and decrease this. Take the eight, take the 10, I mean, add the eight, update the result, bump it down. Speed this up, come on, right. 66, bump down. Oh, hang on. Oh, wait, I'm retarded. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh no, what did I do? I, did I, did I, what? I'm supposed to multiply them. I've done it the wrong way around, haven't I? Sorry, what have I done? I'm so confused at this point. I'm not supposed to be adding those. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm an idiot, sorry. So you inbox the first number, that's one. It's gonna be the counter. Then you inbox the second and you put it there as the number. And then you add that to itself put it into the result and do the counter yeah that, that's it so one is the counter five is the number do five plus five result downgrade the counter now, obviously in this case it doesn't work because and i'm an idiot so let's do nine times two o already it's it's wrong it's just wrong nine times two is 18 so let's see what i actually get it's gonna be 20 right yes 20 okay so we've got one extra addition here so we need to first copy into result bump down the counter if it's zero we result otherwise you add and copy to result why do i copy from result i, I don't need to copy from result do i sorry come again what am i doing yeah after i copy to yeah after i bump down the counter if it's not a zero i need to copy from result there is that it? So one times four, four is the result. Downgrade that, I, I would box the four. Now eight times eight, I need the numbers to be different. But okay, eight goes there. Counter seven, take the result, do this, put it there and so on. Yeah, so this should work, right? 64, yes, good. Now obviously these zeros will not work. So this was zero times seven, which is a zero, but now it's zero, now it's seven times zero, so we're doing this, and that's that's just wrong. So if the first number in the inbox was a zero, you need to outbox zero. So if this is a zero, you outbox a zero, and then do an additional inbox to get rid of the second number, and you repeat. Does this work, please? One times three is three, five times uh, two, was it? No. It wasn't. What, what, what was the input? I don't know. Okay, now it's 5 times 0. 
So I left it and he's counting. Well, that's a zero and a four. Yes! Um, this is way too complicated. I didn't explain it properly. Didn't complete any challenges. Yes, correct. That's over. And time is gonna be... Oh, oh that's shit. Anyway, I've done it. I'm happy. I'm not happy because it sucks. But I did do it. Now we can optimize this a little. So for example, from this inbox, if this is a zero, we can just jump down here as well. Already should be faster, right? So if either of the inboxes, either of the input values is a zero, we skip that. Then another optimization would be to get the larger of the values as the number, not first number, just number, and use the smaller as the counter. So for example, here we've got eight times two. So we really are gonna add two to itself eight times, which is not as efficient as adding eight to itself two times, right? But let's see if I at least got the zeros down. And this is just taking ages. Oh, I messed up somewhere. Where have I messed up with the zeros? So here, three times zero. Yeah, you outbox that. Oh, oh, sorry. If the first value is a zero, you need to outbox and inbox as well. If the second value is a zero, you outbox, but don't inbox anymore. So I guess I'm gonna do it differently. Outbox and don't inbox. And this jump is gonna go wherever this jump is going. So at the start. Okay, this is way too complicated now, but it should at least work and be a tiny bit faster, I think. So here, one times zero gets tossed. Another zero and it's a 16. Okay, come on, please. Just give me at least a single challenge, not that one and not this one, but it was faster. Why is there a zero? Why do I have a zero here? I'm missing something. I originally wanted to use that as a counter, but why would I? Tell me more. I hope you enjoy your new label maker. You've labeled your sandwich. Well, you're an idiot. Oh, so now you know which one not to eat. Is one of them poison? Okay, never mind. You, Mr. Manager, are an idiot. I'm clearly an idiot as well. Yes, very much so. This is just bullshit. This, this is nasty. I, I suppose there's a better way of doing this, but I just can't. I can't right now. Uh, anyway, it worked. So that's it. That's done. 